pipe, so this is the call. It's coming in towards the A side. Vanity has to hold up huge in the back, and he does so. The spike is down. There's six seconds left. Everybody's blind towards the A side as two more members stay alive here for 100 Thieves, at least for now. But you know the round is going to go to Cloud9. You know it's going to be three to one. Now the question is into uh, Astro mode. Let's see if they can find it here. And that's going to be to cover up the B side, but the pressure's coming in from heaven, at least for 100 Thieves. Also, they're trying to go inside the spawn side and misses the second satchel. So this allows for C9 to capitalize on this. The showstopper to come out from Zeppa. That connects up to Echoes. A close range tool that falls on to Baby J. But we are answering back. We have 10 seconds left. We're trying to get this plant down, and it's going to be down safely, at least with Asta on his own. On a two versus one, but it's still Vanity that yeah, closes that gap with the Spectre. And they get the round on the... See how they adapt, how they tune these strats. Here it looks like they're coming through and Mitch, oh my word, yeah. pulls one out of his hat there. And you saw an aftershock kill. This is not going to be looking good at all for this Sheikah round for 100 Thieves. Shout out to Pansy for that one. There's only going to be one more. It's going to be Hiko. He gets dropped. And Cloud9 have been doing a very good job. Everybody crunches back as it stays very quiet for 100 Thieves. Really respecting their opponents, only trying to creep up on their own. And that's going to be Ethan trying to do a hero play. And so is Asuna, but it's still going to be Zeppa that's going to finish on top with the spike down now towards B Heaven. A pinch towards the backside from Leaf. And that's already a 5 on 2. Aggression is king there. Absolutely taking 100 Thieves off guard. Quick peek by Hiko. Now he's just getting sprayed down as he doesn't really want to trade back. Leaf finds Baby J in mid. His hundred thieves get scattered on Ross here as one bullet hits him through the toxic screen towards the back of the site. That confirms it, and we're gonna get the yeah. prime gaming flawless on top. Here for C9, couple of nades coming out, and that allows a turret to get a kill and nade shells on to Baby J. But finally gets answered back by Ethan. But look at that utility that we mentioned before. You can't get through this fault line. You can't get through this aftershock. A flash that comes out is only gonna be good for one one kill but it's still a three on two so a little bit of damage done to start things off but only one more to go on this head-to-head -head battle red here 400 these it works for the bait both ults for the retaker now cancel out towards b but it's still trade-offs it's a four on four but everybody else that's inside the site on this a site is being held out by leaf by zeppa and we have a seven one scoreline looking to be an eight one asano though trying to keep the dream alive into this round leaf moving forward towards elbow wins his duel and that is good a lot of these rounds have been kind of push to execute 100 thieves gain space and then they grab something Ooh, that time a nice shot by baby j i was vanity's playing at the same spot he's he's challenging it he's oh inside that goodness. smoke coming out the nebula backstab onto hiko that's an execution but the spike's still down 34 seconds left on the clock we lost a knot for mitch but we have another one as leaf has a duel of the fuss now jetta though also gets the headshot on inside Free fired shot. BBJ has to win this important fight here towards screens, and he does. Two versus one. About to look for a jiggle peek for information, and Asuna has an inkling that we do have Zeppel moving up towards a ramp. He closes a gap. He wins that fight, and okay. finally, Hunter Thieves put one on the begin. The retake is still easy with the way he can use his util at the vanity, so they're, they're <laughs> definitely playing with a lot of confidence. It's definitely an anchor of sight, and pull the trigger once you hear it coming. There's two already, Vans. That is so much utility being used towards that B site, and we're trying to just go for the Eagle Peak in the end for C9. Trying to disrespect 100 Thieves, but in the end, it's them that are getting disrespected. A 9-2 to two scoreline looking to be a 9-3, to three, as once again, we go through the Cosmic Divide, and we will go through a break that 100 Thieves... Nope, nope. Don't take that one. <laughs> Leaf inside the ropes, able to get that kill on to Zeppa in an off angle from Asta on the left side top ramp. So we, things are looking good at least for 100 Thieves on that defense. A nice little dink long range looking for the kill. It works for Ethan. A Nova Pulse and also a Gravity Well, but Vanity is just holding it back. He knows he's been inside the corner. He's allowing for Mitch to come out from the rope side, and it works out for two kills, but Vanity's on his own. Frenzy against Baby J, 22 HP. The spike is still on his back. So he's just going to look for that money plan. Hard plan. If he could get it for Cloud9. With the numbers. 100 Thieves closing in, and they're doing a good <laughs> job to prevent that. The one to tell us we can find it out here. Oh, uh, big gravity well, pain shells to retaliate, and Eccles gets the kill for the trade-off, but it's still outside, just so they could set the crossfire here from spawn side as well. Ethan first contact, first to fall. Mitch looking for the swing, but it's going to be Jetta that supports him for that headshot. Baby J also trying to sweep out, and all these one-on-one -on -one individual yes. swings gets punished by 100 Thieves. At least he goes on heaven's side. Spike is down, 18 seconds left, but he is also on his lonesome, and it's going to be at least the easy plant now for Cloud9. Are they going to rope him? He's the head, quick shots. That's two. Thick butt. 
It, they're doing a great double stack right outside. Yeah. Uh, nice observer peek there. Thank you so much for turning off that vision. Range is JBJ, but with the Vandal, they can spray back through this and just wow. hiding through the nebula as it disappears. It's still baby now spots one and another battle on mid side between Mitch and Asana, who is still left. continuing to push the defender side back, which would allow C9 to push up towards B. Heaven, but here comes the swing. Here's for one, and it's traded off on both ends, and now it forces Echoes to fall back inside the coming out on the defense, but not really needed because it's all stuck towards ropes. We have no information whatsoever. Oh, That's information right almost there. Almost able to peek through it. Yeah. <laughs> Hiko playing with fire, more like Aftershock. Can they push through? It looks like they're going to absolutely try for this, fans. And it's good for Vanity with two kills, unfortunately, for them. It was actually a very strong and better retake than for 100 Thieves. Ethan has to come up huge at this point just around the corner. And a backstab coming out, a little bit of miscommunication to try to hide that for C9 or try to capitalize that for Cloud9. And that actually is not going to help out too much to try to get into the site, especially with this showstopper out from Asuna. So with 13 seconds left, you want to try to die with this because you didn't really invest too much with the last two players remaining. And there you go, 100 Thieves, they're making this a game. They have spit on mid side and a tool of the false that connects and Ethan falls and that's an A site weekend. Walking in, I mean, if they're going to give you those shots, take it. So this is going to be a pretty tough run. retake here Love coming it. in from 100 Thieves. And Bit by Mitch and then that actually locks down the player. And now we're pushing towards screen. Asuna falls and we've capitalized on pushing forward towards spawn side. Showstopper does not get a kill because his teammate stole it from him. But Zeppa still running around with it. Close range. Lands it on the feet of Hiko. And Hiko, yes, he makes it out of heaven, but makes it out dead. Echoes then also oh. another to fall. And Landmine that's set up here by Leaf towards the A-Heaven side and the double satchel charges haven't been too mm -hmm. great for both of these players between Asuna and Zeppa <laughs> so far, at least for that second one, but at least we're opening up towards A. A flash to come out to blind a bit and that fully blinds Jetta, but at least it's traded out by Vanity. One more off the rope, so accurate. Playing shells then on the ground, 10 seconds left, Vanity has to push forward and Asuna oh as he lands word. on his feet, lands the- <laughs> Open super dangerous, but thankfully a Nebula is there. A-side Heaven is not under control. But it's also going to be flanked very soon by Mitch. And that Seeker actually doesn't even go towards mid. This is going to be huge for Mitch to get that flank. Mitch has to know. Oh, they go in. Asuna, can oh he find him? Just to the back. Is there another one in sight with the bite? Now they've retaken sight. Now it's going to be another retake that has to come in Works. from C9. There's that flank. The kill onto Eccles. And he's on his own. And that's going to be a nano storm on the ground. He go on the top. Pain shells on top of that. And that was quick and clean from the show of... Uh, Zeppa, sorry. But Mitch still gets the kill into Echoes. We tried to do some one ways. And then Mitch gets another one to Asuna. How does that happen? They take over. Knock down for C9. So things are looking perfect right now for this five on three in favor of the attacker side post plan. Jetta watching that flank. An off angle. Now as Hiko gets the headshot. Or sorry, the backstab off the lead. But does not expect for that kill coming in from Zeta playing the off angle and somehow that sweep 100 Thieves off their feet. Like you saw how slow they were to react because it was slow down the momentum of C9 at least, but it looked so good to start thing off, things off on that B-side heaven control rib because that camera saw a lot. They had a gravity well that you saw. The paint shells, I'm pretty sure, yeah. were being thrown too, and somehow C9 squeezed through all of that to 100 Thieves right now. Oh, it's a rolling thunder on top of that. And there you go. Gravity well on the top. He does get that kill onto Zeppa. Gets away with another broken saddle charge. Could be a call for people to rotate right after. So there's that camera broken, the flash. And Rift. they're not going to get over this trap line. Finally gets broken out, but that's going to be a few for Baby J. There's only 10 seconds left here, Rib. We're in the back of the site. The openings are coming in. Echoes has to come up huge. He does get two. Are we going to move into the site? We will get it. We will get the plant on top of that. But it's still a two versus two with the spike oh. planet with only milliseconds remaining. Now Leaf in a great angle at the default box is looking up towards B Heaven. And we have one playing towards Hell. It's still Mitch that wins that fight. One more to go. Can he go? Can he finally clutch it right now? 400 Thieves to keep it alive, and he won't. C9 will get sight. The zero point on tunnel is split into the B site. The wall bang for the first blood, wow. courtesy of Leaf. But Zeppa is towards that back. Doesn't have any flashes to work with, so he's going to try to time this Owl Drone. Runs through. Right click onto Tuhiko. Right click no. onto Eccles as well. And it's going to be traded off by Ethan finally. But yes, that this timing there for 100 Thieves. 
It comes beautiful there for C9. Asuna trying to narrow that gap, narrow that lead. The retake is coming back for 100 Thieves. Vanity in the back of the side, just running that clock down so that his teammates can do the work. One of these kind of delayed works. There's a zero point, and they're right at a B. That's not delayed at all. Yeah, that cancels out all the utility towards that back of the side, and a wall bang from Leaf because he got pinged down on top of that. And Mitch and oh Jetta going goodness. to work. We've commended C9 on how good they are with utility on this map before, and they continue to prove that point here yeah. in these first two rounds. But now, Eccles, LMS, last man standing, three versus one, and the shot now gives his position away, and Jetta gets another one thrown as the orb was picked up by Zeppa, and he's just running it in. And we now oh, see mid. the tag coming out, the late lurk from Vanity on mid side, where 100 Thieves seems to continue to one. Else, they're just saving. And you got it. it there's a reason. Oh. Oh my word! Got picked apart with the worst person going down in mid there to start off this one as they tried to. Zero point in the back of the site. A battle. First blood for Leaf once again. Traded off by Ethan in the back of the site. Didn't really use any of the flashes at this time. It's going to be the Seekers. Inside that cubby, the wall bang. Jetta gets a bit of damage and even a kill on top of that. And he's still alive. Still the Blade Storm's available. We're about to go for a high low swing. No, and it no, no, no. They looked at the wrong angle. And now Mitch could actually TP away. And he also. At this point, you're not going to leave the site open, but. It looks like he wants to play the 50-50 for where the spike's going to go here. And he's going back towards B. That's what I'm wondering. Why did he give that up all the way towards mid side? They that's plant. a good question. Comfort in play. Uh, but wanting plank. to be able to get it's to it. It's not going to happen. Oh, my gosh. A few traps. Could be doors if they want it. But they C9 making quite a bit of noise here as shots get traded one for one mid. And on the mid pyramid, in between both of them, we actually have a trap wire too. Baby J is about to go for a backstab. He's just around the corner. Baby J wins that one, and there goes that hat. So they'll spin around. They just got Sova. The dart came out of cave, so they know where one is and two on sight. No That's movement Mitch. from that Cypher alt could have tricked them, so it's going to be the retake now, Vance. Up around the corner. There is that spray. A uh, Hunter's Fury. Jetta gets the kill, and he's going to be the last man standing. And there you go. This is going to be very difficult for them to win. Or C9. It should. Oh, actually, there's no time. Couldn't hear the spike tick from all the way over there at Jetta's position. But one. Viper alt immediately. Out onto A, and Austin is going to hit Leaf. There's first blood, Vans. You mentioned that quite a bit in the first game. First blood rounds usually meant under these rounds. And it continues in that favor. Now a five on three starts in. A little bit easy here. There's a camera in the back of the A hall, so they know when to get something done. Left. If you're looking at it, they have a lot of money to work with. So this is still a potential for them to try to do some econ damage against 100 Thieves. It but it's going to be the prime gaming flawless and happen for C9. But look at that. Everybody rotates for 100 Thieves. And now we have three players oh. from C9 moving out towards B. A couple of pings to come out. And even to seal the deal with that kill coming out from the A side. Finally a trade-off. Ethan's in the back of the site. We now have also Jetta that has to fall back inside spawn site. It could still be planned for post plans for Jetta if he can. Now we have a Viper Spit to come out. Leaf has fallen. One minute is a lifetime in TAC FPS. You can make it across the map. You can pretty much do anything. Oh, you get the jump. Oh, we've all been there. The patented jump. Three for Ethan. Oh, just a shot to the left. Everything seems to be just oh. off for these trades and the 1v1s. He goes Always down return, a half HP. Yeah. Jetta's pinned on a 2v1. After that shot, it's a crossfire now for 100 Thieves. Should be locked down. From Arches and from B Main. Creeping forward is going to be Jetta, but the tunnel sign. And here comes Leaf. He's made it behind. No, he doesn't. Ethan saves him from the tunnels. Three rounds for all these kills he's gotten two yeah. rounds ago. And now they know that the hit's coming towards the B side. Beautiful flash is coming out too. But it's still going to be Eccles that gets the kill onto Mitch. Hunter's Fury to come out from Hiko just to try to split out the attack for a bit. We will now guarantee a plant. Toxic Screen is still up on D. Here comes a party. Zeppa, all these footsteps, gets the first kill, but Ethan also gets a second one. Underhand throw, looking back towards that side, they're crunching in towards his teammate, towards that ladder side, and it's still Ooh. gonna be Jenna, but the jump, like, jump classic, sorry, coming out from Asuna, is gonna be able to get him with the headshot instead. Tag it, the order gonna happen, I was like, mm, I'm not too sure, but starting to believe <laughs> now, especially with yeah, that first blood absolutely. from Asuna. That potential. Because you can also dictate what C9 will do based on the op power. Ready to play is Asuna. We do have a Hunter Fury kill coming out from Jetta, though. It's a three on two. Player advantage now for 100 Thieves on the defense. Shock Dart, Snake Bite, everything on the ground to prevent 
C9 from moving in with the spike down out Ooh. towards the palm tree. So Vanity stuck at bricks now to get this clutch and a late Aldrone to come out will now make it much more difficult for Vanity to try to win this. The pre-fired shots and it's going to be BBG. Strat we have and it's going to be the epistle round of second half. Vanity's close. Classic left clicks. What? Snake bite on the ground. Some debuffs coming in so it can work the right clicks instead. And it works oh. down onto Ethan. And oh, oh my god. This round. <laughs> Just getting a uh, long, little, you know, long break. It takes a takes a while to shoot. Mid area, fight for himself, and he gets Ooh. the opening frag. That's a very nice one on top of that, and just on the other side behind that ladder, Vanity somehow still stays alive because he has support from Zeppa. Now we're trying to spray with this Vandal, but does not work out yeah. for Eccles. A three on three. Spectre, Phantom, Bulldog. It's still working out for their bonus here for C9. How is Vanity still alive? To Inside, just by Ooh. the spike with this poison orb, and with 12 seconds left on the clock. It seems to be a done deal. Okay, he's waiting for that pickup sound. Maybe Jay on one. Somehow. Two. No way. No time left. They have to pinch in on him. He's trying to stay alive, and he does. Vanity was under oh so much pressure word. at the beginning of the round, all the way towards this round. Walls coming up, trying to do a little bit of what C9 was doing before. See the Spectre once again towards that back of the site. A couple of kills ringing in for Cloud9 with the player advantage. Flashes on the back of the side. On top of the wall is Ethan with that Guardian. And that's also now spiked down. Eco does have a little bit of map control inside this B side and loses that audio, audio cue being hurt towards that killer side. The knife and then Mitch with the triple kill. I, that kill on Baby J would have... This almost feels like all your eggs in one basket. Especially, I mean, for an Eco too, but you want to be able to have a bit of a flank. That's going to be taken up almost by Baby J. Cloud9 is just reading <laughs> this one right now. 145, 145, all share yeah. shots, but players are still alive here for Cloud9. Now you have one tucked in, playing a little bit more passively. And now as he swings out, but there's still a jet as a support. Mitch as he falls down, and that's the triple kill. And we are now at map point. Just the accuracy of that. Oh my word. I thought he was going to have to show himself coming through here. One right in the face it wouldn't even matter if he didn't have if he had more hp oh my god okay Let's see if they can make this one work hunter's fury is going to come right through to clear the back side of the site but it's not going to hit leaf because leaf's on the top of the tower by exactly. ladder and that's two kills now for c9 a big flash allowing leaf to get that easy kill back towards berlin mitch then going to work at the same time too and that's going to be 